Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a easy problem from lead code. The problem name is count elements with maximum frequency. So the problem statement is pretty much simple. You are given an array nums consisting of positive integers, as you can see here. Return the total frequencies of element in nums such that those elements all have maximum frequency. Now you have to find the total frequencies. So you have to sum up the frequencies of the elements in nums such that the number that you are summing up all have the maximum frequency. Let's take an example to understand more about the problem statement. It's a little bit like you can say, uh, just take some examples and it will become very easy. The problem is not very difficult. Just the thing that is written might, sign, like, might seem difficult to understand. As you can see here is that the numbers are 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4. Now what you can see here is you have to find out the frequency of every element. Now one is acting two times. Uh, let's draw it out as well so that it becomes more, much more clear. So as you can see that one is occurring two times. Okay. Now uh, two is occurring two times as well. Now three and four both are occurring one time. So what number is occurring? You can say maximum number of times. Okay, this number and this number. So both of them are occurring the maximum number of times. So you just have to find out the frequency or count of them in this array. So one is occurring two times, two is occurring two times. The total of them is equal to four. So in simple terms, you have to first find out the maximum occurring numbers. You have to find out the numbers that are maximum occurring, the maximum frequency of them. And whichever of them is maximum frequency, if they are occurring multiple times, add all of these values out. If they're singly occurring, then it is fine. If they're occurring multiple times, then just add all these numbers. Pretty much simple, nothing much complicated here itself. So you just have to find out the frequency and then find out the maximum frequency. And then how many times that maximum frequency is coming up, just add all of them. That's a particular uh, logic for this particular problem. Nothing much complicated. You just have to understand the problem and some examples. It will become very easy. Read the explanation as well in any type of discrepancy. First, before approaching any problem, try to understand every nitty gritty, every type of thing, what is actually trying to ask in the problem statement, and then you can try to solve it. So what you can see here is that what we have done is first we have to find out the frequency of every element. So use a map for that. It did over every element and increments its count so that we can get the frequency. Now find out the number that is maximum in all of those, all of those frequencies. So it did over all the frequencies. Okay, so map is storing out all the frequencies. So I dot second is the frequencies. So find out the maximum among all those frequencies. And then in the end, we have to find out the sum of all those maximum frequencies. So total, it did over the map again. And if this, the i th value, the frequency is equal to the maximum frequency, which is the maximum frequency, add the maximum frequency. This is the number of times that is it is occurring. And then return answer. Okay. The thing that we have told is just done here. Nothing much complicated. That can be done here. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box or this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Tell the keep coding and bye.